Hello guys and welcome to the first video of the Mind Super tutorial using Java. All you're gonna need for these tutorials is Eclipse and a JDK. I'm gonna have in the description below links for both of them to be downloaded. So let's go ahead and open Eclipse. Okay, let's go to File new java project let's go ahead and name it mindsweeper and now let's go ahead and add a new class we're gonna name it main make sure to click that and we're going to add another class called the UI for graphics user user interface. So let's go in our main class, delete that, and we uh, we're going to add implement parameter. Okay, click here and click on add unimplemented methods this way this method right here is going to appear we're gonna use the run method to refresh our game later in the GUI class okay let's go ahead and create a GUI item go ahead and type GUI with capital letters GUI with lowercase letters equals new GUI. Okay, now uh, just follow me. Type what I type new thread open brackets new main dot start. Okay. Uh, this way, when uh, we run our game, a new thread is going to start creating a main method and running the run method. So, in here, we're going to create a while loop which is going to refresh our screen, our window, sorry. Okay, just uh, type this right now and uh, this is going to disappear right here because we haven't finished our DUI class yet. Okay, let's go ahead and import some stuff first. Import uh, Java string import Java util import java dot um ot. yep okay we don't need to import anything else for now at least okay so let's go ahead and build our constructor so type public gui and in here this is going to be our window uh so uh, now we have to tell our computer uh, what uh, we want, uh, what size we want our window to have, if it, uh, if we want it to be visible or not, uh, if we want, uh, if we want to close by clicking the X button, what type will we want to have, if we want it to be resizable, like that I mean, we are able to resize Eclipse right here, but we can disable that uh, option in here and we're gonna do that because we don't want the user to mess around with our window so let's go ahead and type this dot set set title okay okay yep we forgot to do something up here we have to type extends 
Jeffrey. Yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, now, go ahead and type this. Set title and uh, type mind trigger or whatever you like. I'm gonna name name it mind trigger first because we're building a mind trigger. Um. Now let's proceed. Type this dot set size and type that's what I type I'm gonna explain to you later 1286 and 829 so we want our dimensions to be 1280 by 800 but up here you can see that uh, there's a bar on top of every window which is precisely 29 pixels and so this is why we type 829 and not 800 and uh, it goes the same way for the borders on the left and right side uh, we are losing 3 pixels from each side so this is why we are typing 1286 and not 1280. Let's go ahead and type this dot uh, set default close operation jframe dot exit on close. Uh, this thing right here means that whenever we click the X button, our application is going to be terminated. Now go ahead and this dot set visible true. This means yeah. Let me save save this uh, real quick. Okay, this right here means that whenever our window is created, uh, that it will be visible to the user. Okay. Uh, let me run this real quick. Okay, okay, sorry, that's an old project. I have to run it from in here. Okay, here's our window. It's got the dimension that uh, we mentioned in here. And uh, because of the set visible on true, we are able to see our, uh, the window we created. If we type false in here and run this, we're not able to see our window. We have to stop this. Okay, now. And we have to add one last thing, which is called this dot set resizable and false. This way, when we run this, the user is not able to resize the window. If we type true in here, or if we don't mention this at all, we are able to resize it, but since we do not want the user to mess, mess around with our window, we say this dot set resizable false. So I'm gonna stop here for the first video, guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Have fun.